Game 14 with one of our absolute favorite series here at the Today Show. Mr. Smith goes to. Okay, this morning Mr. Smith here is taking us to a high school in Pennsylvania where a very special radio call, years in the making, drew as much attention as a big game there. Hi, Harry. You know, we didn't really know what we were walking into. It felt kind of like some state high school championship was going on. And oh my goodness, for the kids who were involved, they got it. The sky was the limit. Mm -hmm. In a town near Erie, Pennsylvania. NA1SS, this is KC3 SGV. A group of students are trying to contact someone who is not NA1SS, particularly easy to reach. This is KC3 SGV. All those numbers and letters are ham radio call signs. NA1SS, NA1SS is the International is Space SGV. Station. Three, two, one. The first Hello, amateur contact in space happened 40 years ago with the Space Shuttle Columbia. Hello, W1JXN. This is W5LFL. Uh, you're our first contact from uh, orbit. What advice would you Since then, a group called ARIS, Amateur Radio on the International Space Station, has organized radio calls between astronauts and some million students worldwide. What do you do for fun on the space station? Over. Most of the time, adults do the setup. But at Harbor Creek High School, it's all about the students. Which license do you have? Uh, I have the technician general and amateur extra licenses. All of these students are licensed amateur radio operators, studying for a series of federal communications exams and passing to use radio waves to reach out to the world. My last contact was in Austria. But now, literally aiming higher, this space station call, years in the making, endless hours of after school and weekends of preparation. This is the one you use to yes. contact the space, space yes. station? Did you guys put all of this stuff together? We've set everything up, from the antennas to the radios, to the power supplies, antenna controllers. We've set this whole event up ourselves. The students have a 10-minute window to make contact, then question astronaut Andreas Mogensen. They can be very Assistant easily. Principal Drew Mortensen heads the Advanced Technology Club at the school. After attending an amateur radio seminar, he thought, I'll bet our students can do this. You have to hit a target. Right, exactly. You're hitting something that's 254 miles away, traveling at 17,000 miles per hour, and you're hoping that everything goes correctly. Like, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? No, right, exactly, no. The gym looks like it's set up for homecoming. Signs, balloons, you can feel the buzz. As classes file in to watch, the technology kids are psyched, anxious. Today, the students of Harbor Creek are on a journey to boldly go where few hams have gone before. The time has come. 15-year-old Giles Veit begins the call. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3 SGV. The gym full of students wondering, will this work? NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3 SGV. NA1SS. Giles calls again. KC3 SGV. And again. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3 SGV. Finally. Okay, Commander Mogensen, we have you a 5-7, a pretty good signal. So, are you ready for some questions? I am ready for questions. Go ahead. Lots of the club members get to take turns. Living in space as a payoff for the hours of work they've invested. Why do you think that space exploration is important? Over. In 10 short minutes, the space station is out of range. For the students! What was it like hitting that button over and over? As soon as we heard Commander Mogison respond, that was such a relief, really. I'm just looking at the smile on your face. Yeah. What else are you feeling right now? Um, lightheaded. <laughs> Mr. Mortensen is brimming with pride. Yeah. How big of an emotional investment was this for you? I love my kids. I do. I absolutely love them. And so, for them to get to have that experience is huge. 
why you become a teacher. Yep, absolutely. I clapped again. Yes, there were some tears that day too, right? Yeah. Probably school, not, oh. not exactly loaded with resources. Nope. Yeah. The kids went out, they raised money to get the equipment oh. and everything oh. else, did it all themselves. That's right, All the, the nerds were one, right. they won! <laughs> and what's interesting is they started this a couple of years ago, that advanced technology yeah. club has grown and grown oh. and grown. They're doing astronomy, they're doing all kinds of really cool stuff, and if you want to do this with your school, yeah. call this group A. R I S S Aris. It's just Google it. It just does the heart good to see yeah. good kids, good teacher, yep. working hard, doing something incredible. And the Science. buzz in there was like, I can whoa, whoa, that. whoa, this yeah. is what's going to happen. And the whole honestly, you being there is pretty exactly cool, right. Sue. I'm sure the whole community is watching there this morning, oh, the parents, yeah. the teachers, all of you this morning. Kudos. Awesome. STEM rules. You were in the AV club. I was in the AV club. I have my first class, well, I had my first class FCC radio. Which is not easy to get. You know, it was, uh, it was a big right. deal. So they're still yeah. licensing for radio. I mean, this is still a Right. Technology. But Savannah, yeah. this is a message to you and I as the underachievers in oh, high school. I thought you were going to say, oh, we were underachievers. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the elderly. <laughs> on no, this no. Couch. And like, by the oh. way, ham radio, very important. Uh, secondary, you know, when, when other forms of right. communication go out, During ham disasters. radio is there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah big time like stuff. That. So that's, right. it's, it's something that we really do need. Well, congrats right. to those kids. Absolutely.